I've been on YouTube since about 2017 when my daughter was born doing Blender stuff. I was on since about 2009, previous to that, doing uh, music. But in the in the five or six years that I've been doing Blender, uh, I've just found that uh, you guys are just the best, the best viewers in the world. I just, uh, I just absolutely love coming here and doing this for you. I wait all day. Uh, to do this, I spend the time with my kids and my dogs and my wife, uh, and I'm just always looking forward to this. So thank you very much for all the nice things that you have said about what I've done, and uh, it's honestly a, a great, a great honor and a pleasure to do this. So with that said, we are going to do an old medicine cabinet, something that I saw either in Resident Evil or The Last of Us, and I think it would fit in either of those genres. Um, I've created a little uh, reference image for you, and you can download that and bring it into Blender. I've pressed S2 when I brought it in to scale it twice, and I've moved it back on the Y a little bit, and I've sort of centered it, and here we go. It's going to be quite easy to do. So let's get started, all right? All right, so let's bring in a plane. Let's rotate X90, scale it up. Now really, we are only going to be using the right side of this at first. So I'm, just, I'm gonna get it lined up pretty much like that, all right? And what I think I'm going to do is actually get rid of that and I'm just going to use that one now I'm going to look on the side and uh, actually I can be in solid view and I'm going to just extrude back like that for the depth that I want to have something like that all right now as you can see there's a notch here and then it comes down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in an edge loop to maybe around around there or so maybe back a little bit and I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to look from the front and I'm going to press E to extrude and I'm going to come down and let's just have a look and see if that's what I want it to do. Okay, let's take that and pull it back. Okay, so it's going to come in and it's going to go down. And be something like that maybe a little shorter like that now let's just uh, double check okay so in wireframe i want to grab here i'm going to pull these down a little further so that's what i'm going to have all right i'm going to take that piece and e to extrude and bring it out to get the thickness of that piece like that Okay. Okay. Um, my 3D cursor is right there, and so I should be able to just go ahead and mirror that to the other side. So I'm going to have that. And at this point, I'll leave the mirror for the moment. I'm going to add a bevel. I'm going to bring that up to 3 and 0 0.02. And we'll start to get some nice nice bevel in there but I want to fix this up and I'm going to come to geometry under miter outer I'm going to switch that to arc and just watch that over there and you see it rounds it a little bit so that's looking very nice okay so uh, you may not be able to tell but there's another piece that goes across to make the tops not this front door part but I'll show you as we make this so let's come in here and let's in face selection I just press three for face selection Let's select both of those, Shift D to duplicate, pull them in, the mirror's still on. Let's P to break it out for now. Come back in and let's get rid of this edge. We don't need that. Dissolve edges and now we have just that piece. All right, I'm gonna bring it back so that it pretty much lines up. We st we'll have the bevel on here, all right? So we'll get it to fit better in just a minute. Let's look from the front and let's just give it some thickness uh, that we think is reasonable. In fact, maybe a, a, a depth equal to this, roughly. Okay, grab this face, press three for face selection, grab that face, and let's come into the mirror over here and turn on clipping so that we can pull it into the middle 
and it'll click together. We try to pull it away, it can't. X faces, let's get rid of the face that's underneath there. So that's now joined. We'll get rid of that edge later. So just look at this and just, if you need to, SX and just push it in. So it looks like it, looks like it attaches, but it looks like separate pieces of wood. All right, so we got that one. And now what we'll do is we'll just duplicate that down to here to pretty much where the door would would go on like around there I don't want to pull it down below that notch but something like that would probably be okay all right we can also come in here and we can duplicate this again shift D to duplicate just pull it up but let's P to break it out for now and let's apply that mirror and come in Shift Alt and click that edge. So I press two and went to edge selection. X dissolve it dissolve edges. We'll get rid of that. And this is going to be a shelf, and I don't want it to come out all the way. Generally they would come a little bit shorter like that. And then you can decide where whereabouts you want it. So put it somewhere like that. So that's good so far. And let's put a back on this, although you can't really tell. Uh, here, in fact, it may not look like I have one, but I think Sometimes they don't, but I think I'm going to do a back. So let's just come in here in edit mode. Shift D to duplicate. Rotate X 90 so it's standing straight up. We'll pull it back. Actually, I'm going to P to break it out as well. So I've got it as a separate piece. And I'm going to pull it out to until it sort of makes contact. But I think I'll have it narrower. So let's just bring it in. So it's just a thin piece of wood like that. We'll take this one and we'll bring it up near the top. I'm not really snapping. Uh, I kind of want it to be a little bit off here and there. We'll do that. Let's go, come into the reference image over here and just click on front so we can see through this. And I think let's try scaling it out the width of that and see if that looks about right. All right, let's take the bottom and let's bring it down here. there so we have a back on this so far so good let's do the bar uh, 3d cursors right in the middle so we can go ahead and bring in a cylinder and I'm going to use 16 vertices I'll, I'll keep it as an end gone so the ends are capped let's bring that down and let's rotate y90 Let's scale in the X and push it through here like that. Let's scale shift X, not in the X, just make it a little bit narrower. And then let's pull it back until it's about in the middle of that. All right, now in face selection, number three, select that face and that face and control B to bevel, pull, and I want just three uh, vertices in there, get off shade smooth good now it's time to do the door i'm going to take maybe that piece and we'll take that and shift d to duplicate let's pull it out go into edit mode and let's rotate y90 and then rotate z90 so we have that piece i'm going to bring that back here and let's scale that in the z uh, I'll get the top lined up. The bottom's pretty close. I'm going to grab this face here and pull it out over that. And this face and pull it out over that. Take the whole thing and pull it back. Just get a sense for this, how this is looking. Okay, not bad. Okay, for this one, as you can see, there are those splits. So let's just, um, for the moment, let's uh, shift H and just focus on that. I wanna select here and here. I'm going to uh, slash, I'm going to Alt H. I'm gonna bring those back, but I come into here. Ah, what did I do? All right, I want both of those faces there. Okay, I'm gonna go look in wireframe. 
and I'm going to press I to inset and I'm going to pull it in to about there so we have that then I'm going to press Control E bridge edge loops now because I had the front and the back selected and I inset on both of them I get that that hole there okay now I can focus just on that it looks like a picture frame we're going to work on this now press 3 for face selection shift alt and click there shift alt and click there and P to break those out now this one does it have a mirror on it no it just has a bevel okay good so let's shift H to focus just on those and in two edge selection, shift alt to click and F to make a face. So now we have that, all right? I've got the same bevel on both of these. I should be able to just control J and I'm going to apply that bevel. Now, I want to bring in uh, another piece. I want to have the glass. And so I'm going to bring in just a separate plane, rotate X90, get that roughly into position, and let's just take this top, pull it up and under, and the bottom up and under, and I just want it roughly equal uh, on the upper, in fact, I'm going to come right to the middle of there, and to the about the middle of there. And I'm going to scale it in the X so it's about the middle because I'm going to put dirt on this and I want it I want to see it on all sides so I want it to be roughly equal okay so there's that and let's do the knob on there so I'm going to bring in a UV sphere and I'm going to use values of 10 and 10 scale it down and go to wireframe pull it over and I just want to look at this and say, okay, so maybe I will just move it up. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. Okay, so we got that. Let's pull it out. Uh, let's rotate it, rotate X90. I'll work on this end here and then I'll flip it around. It's a little easier. Select that vertex and control plus to expand the selection, X vertices. And then I just switch to edge selection, shift alt and click there, E and S bring that in a bit e bring that out for the handle and let's squash it scale it in the in the y do something like that maybe i'll make that a little bit longer let's uh be, i'm going to put a subdivision on so i'm going to drag an edge loop down to there let's take the whole thing and let's rotate x 180 degrees and bring that in let's just have a look and see how close we are I can scan it. I won't scale it much let's just do that and just make sure it looks it looks good attaching there let's try control one and shade smooth and let's make sure it's facing the right way recalculate outside and then let's uh, do a little design by selecting that edge control B and pull with just two E and alt s and do that maybe I'll drag an edge loop there to sharpen it up just looks like an old-fashioned whatever <laughs> on there okay is anything facing the wrong way let's check that out okay that's good so far all right so the last thing we need to model is this thing up here so let's see how we want to do that I think what I'll do okay actually maybe I'll do the mirrors first uh, yeah, let's apply that mirror and come in here and get rid of this edge and this edge, X dissolve edges, and just, uh, okay, we need all that stuff. I just, just want to see if there's anything extra. All right, to create this shape up here, I'm going to come in here, Shift D to duplicate, I'll pull that up, P to break it out. I'm going to rotate X 90. And I'm going to look at wireframe. So that's about the width that I'm going to want. I'm going to come down to here. All right. And with this top edge selected here, I'm going to press E to extrude, scale in. E to extrude up to here. I think I'll come up to there, actually. Let's take the whole thing and bring it up. And let's get rid of that edge there 
and let's get rid of that edge there this edge so we have this shape that may have been a long way around <laughs> and now I'm going to take these points and I'm going to scale them in and I take these points I'm going to bring them up a little bit like that with those selected and then these selected I'm going to press shift control B pull and make sure C clamping is on so that they hit then I'm going to roll this up and get a bunch of vertices like that all right I'm going to take these points here and I'm going to bring them up just a little bit and I'm going to take these two and I'm going to shift control B as well and bevel that with uh, three maybe five I do want it a little bit rounded now I have to press M merge by distance and get rid of a few of those let's pull this down it's not exactly the sh same shape but uh, it's kind of a pleasing shape let's try it F to make a face E to extrude and pull it out like that and we'll bring it back here and not bad let's focus on that and we'll get rid of this bottom face here and let's try putting on control one and see what it looks like and I think what we'll need to do is we'll take these edges and control B and we'll split them do something like that and then I'm going to come in here and there let's uh, I'd inset pull in like that and see how it looks and we'll shade smooth now if we have a problem and I do have a bit of a problem I can delete those faces and that face let's take this and this and even all the way around and let's press E to extrude Z come down scale Z zero and we'll up this let's come in merge by distance and we have that it's not quite as sharp but it's a nice pleasing effect anyhow okay so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that and I'm going to be applying my bevels so those ones applied and this one I'm going to join that this one as a mirror on it, I'm going to apply the mirror and the bevel and I'm going to join those this piece I'll apply the bevel and join uh, this bar I can just join it and this has a subdivision on it I'm going to apply that and I'm going to join those this will be the mirror we'll just go ahead and join those so I should have okay I got this one in here with the bevel and join it so I'm going to double check that I've got all of that okay let's get rid of that now okay so let's take the door bring it back and maybe we will rotate it off um, hide that for the moment come in here and maybe we'll just take that and bring the 3d cursor there and switch to 3d cursor to H and we'll rotate this in the Z a little bit so I'm just gonna have it peeking open uh, like that and then I'll, I'll position it I may not have rotated it all that well so I'll just I'll just do something like that I'm not going to do a hinge on it let's uh, take this let's uh, I'm going to join those together I'll come back to median point I'm going to shade smooth and it's not bad I will put on weighted normal and normals auto smooth as my final thing the only th issue is if you're looking inside this is just a single plane here you know we this this thing here and you would see through it so you might want to think about that you could duplicate it and, and put it in there put something else in there but that's basically it so is everybody still facing the right way they are I'll take it all and I'll just merge by distance just in case see I got rid of some vertices when I did that okay so 
we are going over to UV editing and the way I plan to do this is simply to select everything smart UV project use an island margin of 0 0.003 and that select it all and then pack I'm going to use UV pack master but you could just use blender there it is and there's our cabinet and now we're going to texture that really quickly and easily file new choose OpenGL select medicine cabinet video open and OK and there it is all right so we're gonna come over here we're gonna bake the mesh maps I'll do that at 2k uncheck ID uncheck thickness I'm gonna turn on temporal anti-aliasing just so it looks a little bit better and let's get started on this all right, I'll delete that all right I'm gonna come over to the smart materials we do this pretty simply and I'm gonna search for wood and the wood that I'm gonna use is this uh, wood chestnut you can try different woods uh, I'm not sure where I got that from but uh, I'm gonna throw that on and I may come down and just adjust a little bit of this and it's gonna make it a little bit lighter okay so I want that on there next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let's make that a little bit small I'm going to add a fill I'm going to leave it white for the moment and I'm going to um, add a filter and the filter I'm going to use is this uh, peeling paint all right so you can see that it's it, it's got the white paint on there and as I bring that up it starts to cut away uh, and show the wood underneath which is basically what I want all right and then you can adjust these parameters to uh, to your liking but I kind of like it like that I was just thinking though that maybe I might want to have this as something like sort of a blue paint sort of that kind of thing all right and I was thinking of doing that so that looks good to me and just a little bit less rough or a little bit more roughness actually so we got that going on and then next let's do the the handle uh, on this let's go back to smart materials and let's just type in metal and then choose a metal that you like or you can build one from scratch but I was thinking of just doing uh, like uh, iron old or something like that and then I'll put on a black mask and with a polygon fill set to mesh I just select the door the, uh, the the knob there and I'll have that okay I'll put dirt on this in the end and the final thing is uh, the glass itself which is right here and to do that I will do uh, I'll search for glass and the glass that I like using is this glass film it's got some uh, no dirty mirror uh, you can probably find that on substance share or you could build it and I will uh, put that in there and we should get some dirt around the edges of that and what I might do is come into it as well and on the glass itself uh, you see it's got roughness all the way down metallic all the way up just let's do that so it looks like that okay and then uh, for the final touch I'll just add a fill we'll make it uh, color and roughness with the roughness all the way up we'll do some dirt make this dark and then we'll add a black mask we could try just with a ge dirt generator it's gonna go crazy inside at first let's just drag this down so we could have some dirt like that filling in the cavities of this and we could try one more dirt on top of that maybe so I'll do one more and we'll do color and roughness again could have just copied that uh, but this time let's do let's try a smart mask 
and just try uh, one of these like dirt dusty see what that's like and it puts it all over there and all over the mirror as well so it's not bad and then you could come in here and you could just reduce it all right and that is our old medicine cabinet let's drag this down here well what we'll do is let's uh switch this the resolution is only 1024 and it already looks pretty good let's bring it up and we'll maximize oh and the other thing we could do is uh we could turn on shadows if we want to uh, and just just bring them down just have a little bit of shadow in there okay except for that <laughs> so i like a view something like that just the light and don't forget to uh play around with the hd hdri to give it a, a different look all right so that's that's it really and uh yeah we'll leave it at that and we'll come back and we'll do some more of these uh grungy kind of uh resident evil or last of us kind of models thanks for watching and see you again soon